Hey everybody, just a quick update on what's going on with my mushrooms. If you remember in my last video, I had a uh, stack of coffee cans inside the growing chamber, and I didn't say anything about that because I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but here are some results. I took a coffee can, and let's see, I'll zoom in here, and I cut holes on the sides, just like that, and stuff that was straw, mycelium, and now that I have a lot of mycelium to work with, there's a full jar right going something else. Uh, just trying out this method, and let me show you. Out of the side here. The mushrooms are starting to come out the sides. And let me zoom out here. And what I did was just cut holes in the sides, and holes in the bottom too, or punch holes. Let me show you a few pictures of that. You can see. And what happened was the holes on the bottom are also pinning. I don't know why the mushrooms decide to start coming out the bottom of the can. Let me show you that. Isn't that crazy? It takes about 14 days for the mycelium to totally take over. Here's a picture of the cans with the jar at 14 days and at about 19 days, 20 days, you'll start having them come out the sides like on this one here. And I'll show you another one here, it's a little bit more advanced, let me zoom in, see the mushrooms starting to come out the sides there, this one's a few days ahead of the other one, it's coming out all four sides. show you another one. It's a little bit more advanced. Zoom out here. Let's see here. And these are ready to pick. Check that out. That's pretty nice. I have three cans going and this one's ready to harvest and I'll be harvesting almost every day I guess for a little bit. Here's another angle of the mushrooms in the can and these were ready to pick yesterday at day six. These grew a lot faster than the other ones I grew in the bag but you can see that white stuff there that, are, that is the uh, spores and yeah you can tell these are ready because it has that brown rim as you can see there but let me show you a progression on how these grew. Okay, in these two jars, I have a different oyster. I think it's a golden oyster, but I'm not quite sure. It's just starting to spread, and what I had to work with was awful, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work. But take a look at what these look like at the grocery store, how poor they were. I mean, that's common when you're buying mushrooms at the grocery store. They're just not fresh, and they're all ripped up. Okay, I'm also trying them on cardboard to see if they'll spread on cardboard. I have it in this baggie here with a little bit of coffee on it and to see if I can get it to spread that way. So I'm trying both ways in straight coffee and on cardboard. The cardboard I boiled for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So we'll see if that takes. Okay, and now for something completely different. Check this out. I took a jar and filled it with straw just a little bit of mycelium that I had going from a jar like this, probably a quarter of a jar like that. I mixed it in with the straw and I put one pot of uh, one pot's worth of coffee grounds in it, mixed it all up, and yeah, about day 20 these things started to pin, and this is what they look like now. And 
and they're growing different than the ones in the uh, coffee cans because they're growing straight up. And I think that's pretty cool. Let me give you a closer look at a different angle. Here is a different view of the jar. You can see how thick the stems are on these compared to the ones that grew horizontally out of the side of the coffee can. And I thought this was pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys. And next I'm growing bigger batches in bigger bags. So stay tuned for that. I have a lot of mycelium to play with now. So I'm going to have a lot more experiments and try some different things. That's all I have for you this time. Till next time, take care everybody.